What's going on guys, Sayyid Ahmed here back again with another YouTube video. Again, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday consistently every single week, banging out videos for you guys. So if you enjoy all the effort I put into my YouTube videos, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to have your support. Now, that being said, let's get into today's video where I will talk to you guys about the best free day trading resource to use if you are a beginner trader, essentially. Um, this is a resource that I think is very valuable, not only because it's free, but also because it provides a pretty step-by-step -step procedure. And allows you, not step-by-step -step procedure, but it puts everything in a organized way. Most of the time, organized, a way to find a lot of information in a structured format will be through buying a course. And as you guys know, a lot of courses end up being super expensive. They could be anywhere from $500 to even upwards of a couple thousand. And obviously I know that you you guys mainly do not have the type of money to spend on courses, right? Courses are expensive. As you guys know, I made it as a successful trader without a, taking any single course. Zero, zero courses. And so obviously, you know, I know some people like to use a course and I'm not against courses, but I know that some people also want to not use a course and want to try to get it uh, and try to become a successful trader with zero money spent on courses and just learn by themselves. So. If you're one of those people, or maybe you're just a beginner trader and figuring out whether or not you should learn to trade or not, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. This source will be called Baby Pips. All right, let me move my to show a closer. So Baby Pips. Literally, as is a, like, you just want to type in baby, right? And then Pips, one word, not two. Go to search bar, click on the first link. It says learn for trading with babypips.com. It is literally as simple as that. So they have like a school. A little bit well first of all what you want to do is you want to go to education and you're going to go to the school of pipsology right now you click start and then you essentially have a bunch of lessons completely for free and what you're able to do after you sign up of course and you the sign up process is free of course right oh it's not paid at all what you're able to do then is just go through the entire course and teaches you everything right so it goes through the entire beginning of like what trading really is, goes through the brokers, goes through different types of analysis, support resistance, et cetera, indicators. It goes through a lot more um, complicated things as well. Divergences, obviously, multiple time frame analysis as you keep on going, right? We also have actual things that will help you to be successful after you learned all the basics, such as creating a development plan, trading psychology, risk management again. So they, it's really structured, which I do like. And honestly, it's, a lot more structured than you'll probably find on YouTube, right? YouTube is really not necessarily a more structured way to learn things. So I do recommend that if you are a beginner trader or if you want an overview of what trading is, and this doesn't just go for Forex. I mean, it does, it's mainly called Forex, but in terms of analysis, risk management, trading psychology, all of that, generally speaking, you can use this across all trading. You can use this across stocks, futures, options, et cetera. But what I will say though, is that it is a good source for beginners. However, the one issue I have is that it is not in detail. Now, again, that's not really an issue per se because of the fact that this is for beginners. It's meant to be like that. It's meant to not be so complicated to overwhelm you. So you will see that a lot of times their teachings are they seem a lot more simple than it really is. Now, again, I've said this before, training is pretty simple. It's not necessarily the most difficult thing. It's just not easy. Well, okay. There's differences in simplicity. Like some people think that simple is equating to it also being easy. However, it's not not easy. It's just the fact that the math, the trading part is easy, but the psychology part is difficult, right? However, trading itself is very simple, right? Just follow your strategy, execute when you see the setup, place your stop at take profit, and that's it. The more complex part is actually trading psychology. And so I like the way it works because of the fact that it actually allows you to focus on the simplicity and the simple part of trading and allow you to really then differentiate between what's simple and what's not simple, right? What's simple analysis, right? Managing a risk is technically pretty simple, right? And how to form a plan, how to form a trading plan, back testing, all that very simple stuff. What's the not so simple part? Training psychology. So it allows you to differentiate between these things, right? Because right over here on this source, on this website, babypips.com, is a really easy to use course that allows you to understand the basics of Forex. And this is honestly 
I don't want to say it's all you need. You definitely need a lot more in-depth detailing and training on how to exactly use indicators, how to exactly use some of the stuff that they say, support and resistance, supply and demand, and specific ways to use things such as divergence. Um, however, I will say that it is definitely a good start. And I would say that before you start looking at YouTube videos, before you start doing any of that, I would say they definitely suggest that you guys go through the entire course. Once you've gone through the entire course, I also suggest you guys take notes. And once you've gone through the entire course, go over it again. Honestly, there's definitely going to be some things that you guys missed. And make sure to take your time. Don't be rushing, guys. Um, the charts are never going to go anywhere. Trading will always be here. I guarantee you that. All right? People have been trading since hundreds of years, and it hasn't changed. Right? The only thing it has changed that has changed is the asset classes. All right? It used to be tune-ups. They used to trade corn. They used to trade oil. They actually oil is even still being traded today. You know, then it got to currencies and uh, futures, stocks, yada, 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 right? Even stocks, like chartered companies, I mean, owning stocks of a company have been going on since like what? The 1500s, 1600s or something, right? So don't rush, take your time, write down notes, make sure you actually understand everything it's talking about. And then whatever things actually intrigues you, make sure that you actually start to write it down and then sort of switch out more information on that. Like read trading authors, read trading books. Now, more so than that though, or what you want you to watch YouTube videos, right? Maybe you're a big divergence guy. I'm a big divergence guy. My strategy is based off divergence, right? Start learning about divergence through YouTube. See how other people practice it, right? Some people use the CCI indicator. Some people use the RSI indicator. Some people use the um, OBV indicator. Some people use the MACD, like me. I use the MACD indicator, right? Figure out what type of divergence you like. Do you like trading, you know, hidden divergence? Do you like trading normal, regular divergence? All right, figure all that out. Now, after you have gone over the course a couple of times, you have a quiz. This is great because it allows you to actually um, go forward and figure out what exactly you know and what exactly you don't know. All right. And what exactly it is that do you need to actually end up working a lot more on. So let's start this elementary support and resistance level trend uh, quiz. Just to give you guys a little bit of detail about the quizzes, all right? In a bull market, a blink is an area that price has difficulty breaking through the two the downside. Uh, it would be support. Look at that, correct. That's almost like I know how to trade. We call a line drawn along the bottom of easily identified support areas. Downtrend line, uptrend line. Correct. If you buy when the price breaks up through the resistance and sell when the price breaks down through support, what do you prove? All right, guys, answer the comment. Answer the question down below in the comment section. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Trading a break. All right. Oh, this is 15? Bro, I thought that was five. All right, screw it. I'm not doing this entire quiz with you guys. But you guys get the point. There's a bunch of quizzes you can take. And it really just tells you what exactly you need to, or not exactly what you need to know, but what exactly do you need to work on, right? So if you want to trade through support and resistance and you can't get 100 on this quiz, then please, please, <laughs> like... <laughs> You know, this is a very basics, right? So you gotta you gotta start learning a little bit more on that. Like go more into detail with the um what exactly baby pips is telling you. And of course, the forex cross. This is very important because um just a lot of terms. Again, oh my god, look at that. There's so many terms. This is just the A section, right? So there are so many terms when it comes to forex and trading in general. I mean, look at this guys. You can go to literally any any letter of the alphabet. And you get so many different terms, right? And all these things are important to Forex. Now, do you really need to know every single one of these terms? No, but it is definitely something that you should look at. You should definitely go through these and figure out anything that you don't know. Definitely click on it, write it down, keep a journal of all these things and really just be smart about it too, though. Um, again, like ADP, National Employment Report, it doesn't really matter. If you don't trade for, uh, if you don't want to trade through fundamental analysis, no, that doesn't matter. So you're not going to use that. But if you want to trade purely technical, right, then it would be nice to know what the ascending trend line is, to know what the ascending triangle is. So maybe you want to click on it and figure out the definition and maybe it'll give you an example it does. That's cool. Right, so as you can see, it's pretty detailed as well. Detailed in a basic way. Uh, don't know if that makes sense, but you get what my point. So maybe you like the ascending triangle and you only want to trade technicals. Okay, so now you're going to start looking at ascending triangle patterns and now you want to start back test them because maybe this makes a lot of sense to you. Right, makes sense that when this is a level of resistance that's not being broken, but you're seeing the price keep on going higher and higher, that shows that there's more bullish momentum. 
So once you will break, and if that makes sense to you, then it's time to back test. It's time to form a strategy based off this short panel. You know what I'm saying? So it's a very important and I think beneficial resource for beginners simply because of the fact that there's, excuse me, so much information and it really introduces you to Forex in the right way. You kind of get away from all the gurus, you get away from all the scams, you get away from everything, courses, signals, live streams, everything. You just get the very basic bare bones of Forex. And then you can decide what you like, what you don't like, what you want to look more into, what you want to study more, what you want to test more and go from there. Right, I think it's very important that before you guys start looking at strategies, before you guys, or start looking at YouTubers to figure out your strategy and everything, to actually know about Forex. That's exactly what I did, right? Because you might see some guy driving around a Lamborghini and be like, oh, okay, well, this guy drives around a Lamborghini, so I should follow his strategy because he's super successful. Maybe he's just a scammer, right? Or maybe you don't understand what he's saying, but you're going to follow him anyways because he drives a Lamborghini, right? But you're never going to get there if he doesn't fit your personality, if it doesn't make sense to you, all right? So I definitely think it's very important that you guys learn about Forex, figuring out what makes sense to you, figure out what you want to look more into, and then find YouTubers that talk about those things, all right? And that's just all the tips I have for you today. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like the video, comment down below on anything that you want me to make, and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, guys.